Let's discuss. Rachel back again with another reaction video and today I'm going to be checking out a new song from the Dolly Thundering concept. This is a band I've heard a little bit from off of their 2018 album Savages as well as I believe one or two new singles but not not too much out of their discography but what I have heard I really enjoyed and they got this song over to me that I'll be checking out today a bit early so big shout out to the band for getting this over. I'm really stoked to check this out. Wanted to make sure I got it done since uh, the name popped up and I remembered really enjoying what I've heard. The song that I will be checking out today is called The Sea Starts Here, and it actually features Ryo from Crystal Lake, so that is where we are at. I'm going to stop talking, and we are going to get straight into it. Let's 
weird. <laughs> I like it though. The Dolly Thundering concept, The Sea Starts Here, featuring Ryo from Crystal Lake. Let's discuss. This will for sure be going on the playlist for me. It definitely starts out with a feel that is almost kind of Kadinja sounding. If anybody is into Kadinja with the guitar, those riffs are just excellent. Uh, the beginning of the song definitely grabbed me with that. I saw they have a song with Mateo. I will definitely have to check that out because I was thinking the flow in the vocals in the beginning as well, almost like a, a you know, it goes that sort of direction. I love that sound. So as somebody who hasn't listened to too much of this band, as soon as it kicked in, I was like, I've made a mistake. <laughs> I need to go listen to the other new singles. Just specifically the guitar really sticking out as it first kicks in. I would definitely say the song transitions over time. It goes somewhere totally different as you get to the ending. But even on the heavy side of things, it kicks in. It has that bounciness, kind of genty, like I was saying, Kadinja sounding in the guitar you have the vocals that match up with that like I was saying it sounds almost like a, a Mo Mateo style flow but definitely their, their own sound vocally uh, but you also later in the song get some more heavy style music and vocals to match up with that as well it goes somewhere different when you're listening to the guitars the riffs uh, in there the vocals as well it, it goes somewhere much deeper and it kind of relaxes on the bounciness or the gentiness in the strings and goes to a definitely uh, almost rides like a deathcore line at some places in this song and then the outro just a totally different style when it gets to Ryo's feature and stuff I, I think it's a good use here it when it got to the portion before that fuck breakdown uh, I was almost con I thought it was about to end for some reason and I was like how is this gonna just like stutter off like that um and then it drops again so I would say it's a very good blend of that sound but it's sectioned off as well some songs that I feel do that where there's vocals I would consider more on the death chord line then there's stuff that rides kind of like that prog metal chord line um, but it's blended throughout the song whereas this kind of felt like uh, you could feel the change in going from like those gentier riffs to um, that you know, more chopped up stuff, the the lower stuff with those vocals um, into that outro that was just definitely a different pace for this entire song, but uh, I was feeling it for sure. So it definitely gave it a bit of a unique taste as well, having that outro go out there because I would say there weren't too many elements introduced throughout the songs. There are some songs where an outro like that with 1056 and such, I would say you hear that stuff throughout the song, whereas this, it just kind of like went there after after getting super heavy so I really like that I like the structure of this I have probably made a mistake by not checking out the other songs that they have put out recently I like I said I'm not sure when that Mateo song is from or if I have heard it and I, I just like overlooked it or something I highly doubt that though um, but I'll have to try to make another video or two on the channel if I can for the newer singles I will definitely look out for this album coming out in January I will link all of their social media uh, any if there are pre-order links or what have you I will also include that in the description make sure you go give them some love if you enjoyed this i know i will be doing that checking for merch and stuff after this other than that you can also find my link tree in the description of this video for my socials as well uh, the invite link for the discord server is in there i talk about the discord server on every single video it is full of a bunch of my favorite people very kind people we've had a nice place to be the last year and a half or however long I've been spending so much more time at home. We've had a nice place to kind of talk about music related stuff, stuff unrelated to music. There's a lot going on in there. So if that interests you at all, that will be there as well as my Instagram profile link. On Instagram, I do keep it all music related, whether it be merch, vinyl, shirts, sweatshirts, flags, whatever I have ready to go that week, as well as on Friday, posting a chart of what I've listened to the most over the course of the week, top 25, whether it be albums, EPs, singles, uh, whatever I've really listened to the most. So if that interests you at all, my handle on there, is Rachel Reacts, just like my YouTube channel, but I will put it up here on the screen for you as well as having it in that link tree in the description if you have any interest in following me. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.